Being in nature can do wonders for your well-being. So in today's well-being brought to you by Protein House, we wanted to know some ways to get the most out of the fall season. Joining us now is Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park Manager Eric Dietrich. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you for having me here. We've been talking how much we love the sights and sounds of Fort Abraham Lincoln State 100%. Park. Um, but, you know, thinking about how it can actually improve a little bit of your well-being and, you know, the benefits of being out in nature. Mm -hmm. What are three ways that you like to recommend um, visiting Fort Abraham Lincoln can actually be good for your well-being? So there, there, there's a lot of realms, um, but the simplest one is just getting out in nature, um, hiking around, seeing the views just going down by the river, um, walking, relaxing, getting away from the hum and rum of, you know, work or city life. Uh, just, just enjoying it, just relaxing, um, making memories with your kids, with your grandkids, just for yourself. There's so many different beautiful views up there, um, from the blockhouse views overlooking the river valley to um, seeing the fall colors that are definitely starting to drop here. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many benefits of just getting out and about. Um, that's one one big hit. So. so with fall coming in, we're obviously going to see a change in the leaves and in the scenery. What are some of the recreational activities you see become more popular during the fall time? During fall, um, definitely hiking because um, the temps are definitely dropping. The evenings <laughs> being cool is awesome. Love it. Um, the fall colors is a big one. Uh, fishing should start kicking back up a little bit with the cooler temps. Uh, we're, our campground and our park is right along the mouth of the heart in the Missouri River. So fishing should start kicking up here a little bit. So uh, people come down there in the fall and fish, um, hike. Um, senior photos is a huge one. People mm. coming out there and taking pictures. Um, family photos, um, just walking around the grounds. Um, seeing the nature pheasants we got a huge turkey population or be bopping around with the little younglings um, there's just so many so much to see and do out there so well we've been looking at some video i mean that is absolutely stunning um showing people you know being active and of course the the leaves there and the, and the view um honest Land village can you talk with us about that too yep the honest Land village is right north of the visitor center um, that's open um, during the main season. Um, so the Honest Land Village is where the Mandan resided from the mid 1500s to the late 1700s. Um, obviously, the earth lodges have been uh, recreated, but uh, it's also it's it's a very important point for the Mandan uh, that still are around here uh, with the lineage um, and another beautiful area. Uh, the it it just leads into that the park has so much history and so much different activities to do with the Honest Land Village, the Cav Square with uh, where the 7th Cav resided, uh, the history of the CCC that rebuilt the park in the 30s, um, and then with the more modern portions with the trails, with the camping, with the, you know, um, hiking, biking, you name it. Mm -hmm. There's so many things to see and do out there. One fun thing that I've seen a couple times that I've actually done with a group of friends is when the fall leaves start to change, you go out and you can paint the scenery. Mm. It's really fun, even if you're not good. But the scenery is absolutely stunning. What would you say is your favorite part about mm. Fort Abraham Lincoln? Boy, there's so many parts to see. <laughs> um, as far as my favorite, uh, probably whether it's in the morning or at night, just going up the Blockhouse Hill. Mm. You can either see the sunrise, and it's just phenomenal or going up there in the evening and seeing the sunset. I mean, the colors just pop and then you overlook the river valley. It's just, just beautiful. Yes. Um, the, the other thing, and, and I just wanna touch on this, maybe we're gonna get to it. Another <laughs> thing that fall brings up here out of Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park is Haunted Fort. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Haunted Fort starts up here. <laughs> Maybe you're already going to key into this, but I'll hit you I in got punch. dragged through it. So <laughs> I, dragged yep, through it? Yeah. It's something you enjoy. I the whole time. But. Um, Haunted Fort starts up here every weekend in October. Mm -hmm. uh, first weekend is October 4th and 5th. Uh, October 4th is uh, the spookless night. Yeah. Uh, so it draws in more families, mm -hmm. you know, with younger kids uh, for that mm -hmm. spookless night. So they don't get quite as scared. But okay. uh, tickets are on sale right now at hauntedfort.com. Um, another great 
great thing about fall out there. So it is very fun. I just Excited. get very scared, so I'm gonna look <laughs> up okay. the spookless night That's for okay. sure. That's okay. Eric, thank you so much yeah, for being with us today. And this has been our well being, which is brought to you by Protein House. To learn more about Fort Abraham Lincoln, you can go to parkrec.nd.gov right there on your screen.